if people want to reach you and, and, and you know, happen to get your training, I'm on Instagram. how should they contact you? I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, um, bright.dante, Facebook Dante Bright. You can reach out to um, Dante Bright, 44 at gmail.com. Oh, I see that. Turn wherever you're going. See that? See that? Right here. See that? I'm gonna save your first. Keep going. Keep going. Use them arms. Drop hips a little bit. Explode up. Purpose. What's the purpose? Get there. Come on. There you go. Explode up. All right. Left foot down. Let's go. Back into it. Slow it up. Get somewhere. Get somewhere. Use your arms. Bend down. Use your arms. Drive it up. Chest up. Two hands hit the floor like Duke. Stay low. Slide back overhead. Same thing. Two hands hit the floor. Butt down. 30 seconds. I want you to go quick as you can. You got to guard somebody two times faster than you. Ready? Get down. Go. Come on. Slide. Quick. Come on. Get down. Chest. Drop your hips. Stretch the band. Come on. Come on. Quick. 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 Slide. Come on, come on, too slow, too slow, too slow. Come on, chest up. You can't hit the floor with your eyes in the ground. You can't hit the floor with your eyes in the ground. Time. Four, three, two, one. Now one more. Okay, so the McDonald's All-American game, you, I believe you, Michael Lord, and Keith Booth made the McDonald's All-American team. Is that right. correct? Keith Booth made it the next year in 93. Oh, he made it the next year. Because, yeah, he one year younger than you. Right, right. Man, okay. Mike, man, Mike, we started. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, other other than that, what, what, what's that like playing all of those great players from across the country? It's, like it's, so many players that that went on to do that you probably had well. to face in in college later. Yeah. I mean, um, that's how that's how it is. It starts from when you you a kid when you traveling playing ball. That's when you know basketball community is small. It's very small. Oh, the, when you're everybody. elite. I'm going to say this, when you're yeah, elite. It's small. It's small. Everybody <laughs> know everybody. I don't care what, what town you in. You know, if you're abroad, everybody knows basketball, especially, you know, if you were one of those players. Well, it was, um, I had the opportunity to play in the Nike All-American camp at the IUPUI down at Indiana Purdue University in Indiana. Okay. And that was for the top 125 high school players in the United States and probably a couple of kids from overseas. Right. Um, going into the camp, hmm, I probably ranked the top 20. I left the camp, I didn't top five. I got player of the week. I got MVP for the week. And so that just took me up 20, you know, took 25, top 25, and put me in the top five. And, you know, playing, who was on my team? I had Dwayne Simpkins that played at Maryland, Rashard Griffin played at Wisconsin, played seven footer, played, played like 15, 20 years overseas. Right. I had um, Thomas Hamilton, he played a little bit with the Boston Celtics. He was another seven footer. Okay. I say Chris Collins, he's coaching at Northwestern, Doug Collins' son. I want to say he was on the team. I had um, Kiwan Garrison, he played at the University of Illinois, he's from Chicago. I don't remember who else was on my team. But you know, that, but you had Jason Kidd was there. Yeah, had, okay. Bello Harrington was there at the camp. You yeah. had Collis Williams, you had Roderick Rhodes. Um, you had everybody there. Keith Booth, Kwame Evans. Uh, you had everybody now, there. All the top dogs was there. Now, this is my, now this is my question. You Going through that. You coming out top five as a as a teenager, as a young basketball player. You're one of the best in the nation. What is psychologically? How do you handle that? Like, how do you? Well, you, humble, you I'm man. just saying. So you, well, you just got cool. Humble, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's not when I when you say cool, it's not. Whereas though, oh, he think he's so he think he better. No, it wasn't like that. Just right. that you know, I didn't, I didn't dig into all that notoriety stuff. Okay. I just it just. I don't know, it was just something that it was in me. You know, I was always a humble kid. You know, I was shy. Humble, there we go. I Humility. I was shy. Okay. Like I, like I told you before, I ain't want the next person next to me for you, my God, and feel like you was different from me. No, I'm just saying, we gotta go back to the same neighborhood, dog. Yeah. I might be eating out your house. You might be eating out mine. That's real. So Absolutely. I'm not gonna show you up because I play basketball. Nah, uh uh. Well, I, I, family. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not even saying like show you up, but you I'm know, just saying just for some, you, some like your confidence. Some people feel like that. Okay. Some people, you don't know because, how the next man feels. Like, oh yeah, because because yo, yeah, he in, mag, he in the mag, people, he in the mag, he in the magazine and all said, that. People said, I'm probably one of the biggest things out here getting money. Right. <laughs> I thought it was not true. Right. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know what the next man thinking about you. Very true. People say a whole Absolutely. bunch of stuff about me that wasn't true. 
because you don't know Dante Bright. Sit Talk down and get to know Dante Bright. Just don't. You, everybody got an opinion. That's fine with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But bring the facts with that. Okay. If I was doing X, Y, and Z, where the facts at? Okay. Just don't go out there and put it so you can just have something to say. You know, because me, I, man, say whatever you want. Man, I don't care. I'm going to keep it moving, man. Well, I, I will say that I, I seen what you're saying. Um, as, I, as I sit back and really think about from a fan's perspective, your play. Right. Even um, at Dunbar, because y'all had, a, a, like, people call it a big three. Right. <laughs> you know, big three. Right. Um, and even to you, Maz, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, when Marcus Canby went down, you went on the tent. Yeah, right. You know, but, um, you know, playing, playing um, you know, being a great fucking team. Um, but I was kind of asking that just as far as, like, your confidence, like did oh, okay, it, did it, man, man. It's, I can say I'm humble. You will never know it, but I, I was confident. I was always confident in myself. I want to say absolutely. I was even for you killed. To do it. I was even killed. You ain't know if I was up or if I was down. No emotion. No emotions at all. Just play. we ain't working off emotion. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just play. Just play. You know, you keep your opponent off. I like, man, this man don't get mad. He don't get tired. He don't seem like frustrated. Yeah, cause I, don't, I can't recall that you really like talking shit. I ain't for, talk for, shit. For, my just, shit. Whatever. My, is. The way I talk shit is by performing on the court. A lot of times you ain't gotta speak on it, just go do what you do. They're gonna speak on it for you. Okay. Now, <laughs> you play with some, some great dudes, but let's I'm gonna take it to the college aspect. Um, did you play against Allen Iverson when he was at Georgetown and y'all didn't because yeah, y'all was in Atlantic them. 10. We beat them in the um to go to the final four. It's on YouTube. Y'all heard that? Hold on, can you mind say that and say that one more time? Yeah, we beat them in the lead eight to go to the final four. We broke in the Georgia Dome. Yeah, that was that was with Allen Iverson. Or Georgetown. Othello Harrington, oh, uh, Jerome oh. Williams, John Thompson, Victor Page. Victor Page. <clears throat> yeah, for, he from D.C. Did you yeah. ever play with him when y'all went down to the... Um... No, he wasn't. He wasn't on the school. Uh, when you was younger? Time. No, okay. he wasn't. The only time I played against him was in college. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to say Stephon Marbury was at Georgia Tech around against Georgia there. Tech in 96 at UMass. We beat them. They had Adolescent with Georgia. At, uh, they played, we beat them in uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey, where the New Jersey Nets play at. Um, they okay. Be Christmas break. Okay. <laughs> Y'all play UConn with Allen or with Ray they Allen? They didn't want to play us. They didn't want to play y'all. No, no, they didn't want to play us. <laughs> they didn't want to. They um, schedule no game. Who us. else was it? Was it Villanova? Uh, had Carrie Kittles and um. Did we play Villanova? No, we didn't get a chance to play Villanova. Okay, because I, I want to say a lot. They, they had a chance. Okay, because I want to say they was like Big East or something. They didn't matter at that time. Right. We were playing whoever. Right, right, right. They didn't okay. I'm gonna tell you the teams we beat. The number one teams we beat while I was at UMass. Kentucky. I'm gonna go no, nah, even before Kentucky. Okay. Must, after my freshman year, I set out. Right. All right. We played uh, my sophomore year. We played in the preseason NIT. We lost in the championship game to Kansas. Okay. But we beat who? North Carolina. They had Rasheed Wallace, Jerry Stackhouse, Salvador, mm -hmm. Brian Reese, Dirk Phelps, Donald Wims. They had about 10 pros on their team. And, yeah. We beat them in the uh, semifinals to go play in the uh, – and we lost in the uh, championship against Kansas. Kansas ranked like number five, number four. Okay. Who was on Kansas was, at that time? I can't remember. Uh, wow. I can't remember. Hold up. Oh, they had uh, Jock Vaughn. Okay. Somebody want to say Richard Scott. They had some players. They had some players. They was always tough. Roy Williams was the coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know they was tough. Yeah. Yeah, we also beat my junior year. Played in the Springfield Hall of Fame class up in Springfield, Massachusetts by the Basketball Hall of Fame. We beat Arkansas. They had uh, Corey Beck. Corliss Williams, Scotty Thurman, we beat them. They just came off the national championship. I was going to say, that was it. Was that the year or that was the year after the national championship? That was the year after they won the okay. championship. Okay. They, we, we beat them. Then okay. I got a chance to play Kentucky. We beat Kentucky. So I Is that up, when they had Jamal Mashburn and Tony Delt? No, that's when they had Tony Delt, Antoine Walker. Antoine Mashburn, Walker. Watch Mashburn older. Okay, all Antoine right. Antoine Walker, Ron Mercer, Tony Ron Delt. Ron Mercer, yep. They had Dirk Anderson. They had Walter McCarty. Yeah. Oh, man, Scott Shepard, yeah. man, they had a boat. Yeah, yeah. So while my time at yeah. UMass, I won, I probably beat like four number one teams. Yeah. I mean, I mean, y'all was, y'all made it to the final four. Y'all was right there, you know. So tough-minded kids, man. We was hungry. You know, it was an up-and-coming school. And so that was one of the reasons I, I really picked UMass. It was an up-and-coming school. Right. And, you know, that's going to give you an opportunity to develop. And it's it, it, going to play. And, I, and Coach Kyle, his coaching style is good. And all you can take his uh, barking, his bark, his aggression. The only thing he barking at is if you're playing weak, you ain't playing no defense. Okay. If you're going to go out there and think you're going to do what you want to do, nah, you got to build confidence in him. And then he's going to be the 
freelance to do what you can do. That's just like the time, like you just mentioned about when Marcus Canby fell out for that yeah. four or five game stretch. Yeah. I was averaging 14, I went up to like 26. Like Something like that, yeah. Rounds. And like I said, I can play. So I was already comfortable in that in the lead role because I didn't did it all my life. Yeah, I did it all my life. So I mean, it wasn't nothing new. Since the alley on, in the crate, Since you did? Since the alley, that's when it started in the alley. So Talk that about prepared it. me to win a situation where it's always like, if one man go down, next guy step up. Absolutely. The next guy don't have to do a whole 100%. Each team member do one or 2% more than what you usually do. Guess what? That's going to make that difference up. Instead of one person, I got to yeah. go. I wasn't like, yeah. I'm going to go get. No, I wasn't yeah. like that. It just so happened it happened like that. It happened like that. I was the next in line. I was prepared. If I wasn't prepared, I wouldn't be able to handle that situation. And we was number one in the team in the country. Yeah, so I was. went down and stayed number stayed. one. And when he came back, so to let you know we had a team. <laughs> just wasn't the one man hey, team. We was yeah, because, um, yo. We all point our guard, the road. Agha Padil. Agha Padil. Yeah. Um, Trevieso, Dana Dingle. Come on. Come you know, on, man. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't remember all the brothers' bill. names, man. No, but, um. Clark. Like you said, strong team. Um, I guess I, I you know, Coach Calip um, Calipari, and uh, I don't know where the assistant coaches were. Coach Bruiser Flint, Coach Probic, those yep. were the assistant Coach coaches. Coach Billy Bain, Okay, yep. um, I'm guessing you know, man, that between their recruitment and um, you know, they, they they put it all together wonderfully. Had had, a, had beautiful pieces. You know pieces what I mean? To that, the puzzles, that, man. That coincided and co coexist. Yeah. And it was all we was all off of one thing, man. It was all about winning because we win, everybody looked good. That's how we look at it. That's how we took the yeah, same method. I, it was that dumb I'm, ball. I'm going to say, y'all got John Calipari to the NBA right after that. I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, I have it how that played out. It's cool, yeah, but I'm just, but I'm just saying the opportunity. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, is yeah, his yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Cool. He know it too. Right. So cool. Fair <laughs> enough. But he's, he, he he came back to college and, and has, yeah. has, has kept it busy since. Yeah. Keep it funky since then. You know. Yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. Um, I cannot know. But like you say, man, you know, everybody out, you know, to try to better themselves, man. You know, it's what you you get to these colleges, go get it. You know, they're going to get what they're going to milk you up. So you go get whatever you can get for them and just squeeze them because they're going to squeeze you because the next batch of kids is coming the next four years. Yeah, because certain schools will damn near over-recruit you. Is, hmm, that, is that fair? That's another. Ooh, that's some real. Doing that. You go to these top <laughs> schools if you want. You get there, don't produce, and see what happens. Yo, I got the illest You're gonna question. be transferring. You got people calling for your hometown. Yo, you playing, you right? But they don't know you ain't there working hard. You challenging yourself. You ain't never compete against other guys that's on your on your level. You so used to everybody handing you something. Y'all got that? Quit with the bullshit handing shit, man. Go earn it. Right, right. You'll get more respect. Man. Okay. Hold on one second. I got yo. I got I got a crazy question for you right now.